It's the Jack. Welcome back to another video. Okay, this video is going to be about top mounts. Now, I've already done these, but I've done them wrong. Um, so I'm going to have to take them off again, and then I'm going to do them the correct way. Um, so people um, don't make the same mistake. Um, there's one vital component that I forgot to put on on the top mount um, so they turn smoothly because at the minute they are not turning smoothly I'm getting a lot of uh, um, twanging when I'm turning it's not the spring so check up your car preferably both both sides remove your wheel 19mm uh, should know this by now so we're gonna first undo the hub nut that's torqued to 270 newton meters so in order to do that we need to put a screwdriver in here so it blocks the uh, um, disc from spinning so let me show you how we're going to do it I've just painted these calipers so uh, I'm going to try and protect them a little bit Actually, I'll put it here. Use this cloth. Uh, oh, actually, that's wrong, isn't it? Silly me, because obviously I'm going the other way. gonna need a 32 preferably a deep one as well because that can get in the way now I've broke my breaker bar so I'm gonna use my torque wrench to undo it and you're gonna need a big pole to give you extra it's loose now Okay, that's off. And next, we want to get the caliper off. And the caliper is two 15 mil bolts. They should come off quite easy. He says they're going to come off easy, they're quite tough, let me just... Ooh.
Okay, that's one. with a mallet and it should should loosen there we go oh. Okay, that's off. Okay, we'll slide the caliper off again. Can you just screw it over for this? I know I've left that dangling, ideally you want to just zip tie it somewhere or try and perch it on there but I don't want to disturb and um, wreck the paint I've done on it so I want to take the risk The disc is off Next you want to take off the tie rod Again, 15mm Silly me, turning the wrong way. Here we go. A little bit of the whack and that is off. Next we want to take off the um what would you call it? Anti roll ball link, that's it. I think that is also a fifteen, I believe, I think. Yeah, that's a fifteen as well. in as well, we can zip them half. didn't work, it worked last time but it didn't work this time so you need a 17 mil spanner or adjustable spanner just a 
hold it in the pole. Oh, wrong way. thing out of the way. Don't forget to disconnect the ABS sensor. Okay, all that's done. Now. In order to drop this, you need to undo the ball joint. Now my ball joint is it's been replaced so it's got bolts in. So all I do is I just hit the bolts out and just pull it out. It's much easier to do it that way rather than hammering down all day. So we'll get the adjustable spanner. <laughs> Seventeen mil socket. one bolt off See, that's just the nuts off. Got a bit tired of that caliper swinging everywhere. So I've done the sensible thing and I've just perched it on this little bridge I've made so it doesn't stretch the cable, which is the most sensible thing to do really. But Okay, anyway, let's uh, crack on. So I'll remove the three bolts from underneath the bolted in ball joint. Now we'll just need to take the nuts off the top. Like 
So, this one. Two. And the other one can be a bit sticky, so you, what you do is you push it in. A bit of effort to get that one out of, doesn't it? Okay, let me just push this out. This meaning the drive shaft. Need a screwdriver, and that's gone out. So it's easier to remove the whole assembly as one. So next, we need to do it from the top of the vehicle. These three, which are 12s. Normally the 13, but mine are 12s for some reason. The other 12. Okay, so the final one's gonna have to uh, make sure I uh, catch the uh, strut, I don't want it to drop, so I'll come back in a minute. Okay, you need spring compressors and 22mm socket, and you need to go quite evenly on the right side and the left side, so.
Okay, that's loose enough. Then obviously you can take your top knot off. need a what's this one this is six so six i don't know is that six mil i'm not sure you'll need a appropriate spanner as well Use the floors like a wedge. Here we go. Okay. Now there's two things I forgot to do and I've not seen this in any other video that I can find. I did find one for a Mondeo Mark III but I think this was also missed off there. Okay. The first thing Try and hold this camera, phone camera. See if I can just uh, hang on, let's try again. Let me just perch it in something. Okay, let's try again. Okay, there's two things um, that I forgot, I've not seen in any other video. Um, the only video I found was for a Mark III Mondeo, and it looks like it was missed off there as well checked all the diagrams and everything so the reason for the this twanging I put it on and this wasn't spinning so that's why I was twanging two things I forgot here's a top mount you see that tab that has to point to the front of the car so that's one on there. Secondly, I miss this off and that goes over there like that. So I think this enables it to rotate. So that's what I'm going to do now. Put a bit of grease in there as well. Actually I'll put it on the it in. Um, this was documented in the auto dock video. You don't actually see him put it in but he does put something else in before he puts the knot on. I don't know, I was trying to work out what he was doing and definitely it's going to be that. And after we don't knot, we can put our knot back on. A bit of grease on there, that should be alright now. I wasn't filming where I was looking then, I was filming the plants. But they are lovely plants, look. I don't know what they're called, what are they? Uh, Bluebell? I don't know. But the bees are happy, look. Get a lot of bees having a good feed on them. So, anyway, let's get the. Oh, let's get the knot back on. So 
let me lie this down and get the knot back on. Another thing I'd mention, just make sure your spring sits against this, uh, this light blocker thing. So let's... And that should be it. So, let's now loosen the clamps. better now, before it was stuck. Make sure it's tight, yep. And that's it basically, that's the way it should be done. So I'm glad I made this video so anyone doing this job doesn't uh, make the same mistake because you'll be doing it again like I've just done. So remember that tab needs to point to the front of the vehicle. I'm going to film the actual reinstallation for you as well. So let me get this strut in and then we'll I'll show you how to reinstall. So that's the way it wants to go tab pointing to the front of the vehicle so let me just get this in just a quick video to show you what can happen if you miss this part out that's what can happen can't stay that that's ruined that was new so what we'll have to do we'll have to reuse an old one which is still in good condition and we're just gonna Put a bit of grease on there and put it all back together and that's it. Okay the struts in place so let's get the drive shaft in place first. There we go.
Yeah, not back on. That has to be uh, torqued to 270 newton meters, and I'll show you how you can do that. Just put that on loosely there for the moment. Okay, next you want to get. Try move the camera over here. It's sunny today, but I think you can see that. So next you want to get your ball joint back into the hole Does go in just push down a little bit. So once you've got one hole lined up, put the bolt in. Okay, that's all. Got a bit of cramp in my leg now. Oh, it's not easy this engineering business. So in my case, putting your knots back on. Got a loose leaf and no. Okay, that's all. Put your tie rod back on. This one's a bit twisted for some reason. Must have got twisted when I was uh, tightening it, so it's just what I, beat my, what I mean by twisted is the boot, as you can see, it's just straight up. Okay, that'll do. Good 
Now they just put a bit of grease on so we don't seize in the future if you have to take this off or replace it. So that's On, put your 15 mil back on. I'm just going to do that loosely for the moment. I've got a top of my bracket here as well. Don't forget to put your bracket on. Same with this, put your grease on. And then um, <coughs> find your zip gun, wherever you put it. Oh, zip gun is that American saying? Do they call it a zip gun? Impact gun over here. I call it a zip gun. This should get it on when I hit spinning, so. tight that one isn't tight so let's do that one I may as well use the gun while I've got it well I've got 15 on it Tight. Tighten these up as well.
Tighten the next one up. and do the last one if I can grab it have I grabbed it? yes I've grabbed it Okay, tie rod is tightened, that one's tightened, the three ball joint knots are tightened, and now it's just this one left to do that. Let's get the disc back on. Okay. As you can see, I painted the face of the uh, disc. I didn't do that because obviously you don't see that bit anyway. So, so that's probably why that's peeled off now. But never mind. Slide the caliper back on. Align the bolt. You can see that, I'm not sure. But... Caliper bolts are back in, just tighten them up, it's 15 again.
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're done. The campers are done now, we just gotta do this. Let's wind it on using the uh, zip gun. Put your zip gun on in. Use my rug. Don't want to damage these brilliantly painted calipers. As you can see, brilliantly painted. And then we want to do that to 270 nm. Now, my torque wrench only goes to 210. First, I'm going to do it to I'm going to use this device on here set this to 270 hopefully I can use this wrench to finish it There you go. You heard the bleep. That means the torque has been reached. And that's it. All done. Remember to clip your uh, ABS sensor back on. jobs are good and so I need to do the other side as well but I'm not going to document that one because it's the same procedure so oh, excuse me I'm gonna go crack on with that so I hope you enjoy this video guys and I hope this is gonna help someone out as I said the info that I've given I can't see on any other video um, so I hope this will help some of you guys out and show you how this should be done 
so you don't have to do it again like I've just done but to be honest there's not a lot quicker this time so all good thanks for watching I'll see you again